Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Schools Out DT5081 Jam. This game jam was open to students in Ireland. They were to upload their final projects, and then they were going to be graded. I'm going to be playing all of the games that were entered in this jam. Links to the individual games will be in the description, so feel free to check them out. All my info will also be in the description, so feel free to check me out as well. Thank you very much for watching. Next. We're playing Wacky Wander. This game isn't for you if you're prone to seizures. But basically, it's a maze runner where your eyesight's going to deteriorate as you go through the maze. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, the walls are a bit more rounded than they were before. Um, maybe this way? Oh, no, nothing's colorful. Alright. Looks like a dead end. Have to go back. Straight and choosing the repetitious music seems to be messing with me. So weird. Oh, now everything's quite curvy. Next! We're playing Reason, which is a sequel to No Reason, which is made for a different jam. Ugh, what was that? What is this place? How did I get here? Basically, we're going to go around this island to these flares to find out what happened to the people that used to inhabit this island. I feel a strange presence, like something's watching me. Right. Move on to the next one, I guess. It's quite a neat looking world. It looks like ash, dead grass, as opposed to anything living. I must investigate. If I'm stuck here, I want to know why am I having these feelings? Why I am having these feelings. I like the music as well. There's something eerie about here. Why is there only three? Why is there only trees on one side of the island? Strange. It's like I got burnt by a volcano. That's my guess by the graphics, I don't really know. How do I get out of here? Should I look for help? Am I alone? It's a mini island. I can probably build a fire, maybe someone will see. There's some trees. Oh, this one didn't activate. Weird, maybe I missed one. Ooh, let's check out this forest. Maybe I'll find something useful. I get the feeling I shouldn't be hanging around. Huh. Next. We're playing Round Them Up. This is a two player game. There's only one of me, so I'm going to just play it to myself. Oh, okay, so basically, because both players would run around and pick up. Uh, sheep and then you have to like put them in the correct bin and then this thing annoys our player by messing up their vision Is that not the right? That might not be the right bin maybe Yeah So like this guy should go around and probably collect stuff Put in the bins well, The walls are quite Quite confusing. So I don't tend to notice them until I'm messing with them, really. That's orange. There you go, blue. Oh, so the wall changed. 
totally thought I had a sheep for one of those holes. I have one for that one. There you go. Sheep, man, they just keep escaping. Where's the blue one going there? Is the orange one? I like how colorful the graphics are. It seems like a very fun game to play with two people. Especially since you can mess with each other. Like this. <laughs> I win! Who knew? Next. We're playing uh, Poppets 4, um, The Hands of Henson. I don't remember the last Poppets game, the last few I guess, because there's four, but it's based off of those. It's been 14 months since the attack on Poppet Theater. Termit and Stan were killed. After the attack, I woke up dazed and confused. A rock thrown in the crossfire hit me, and I was out for the whole fight. Oh, I remember that. So, yeah, he was talking to, like, the puppets that he did get hit, and then, like, that was it. It landed on, like, a cliffhanger. After getting to my feet, I wandered into what was left of the puppet theater and found Termit lying under a crushed beam of steel. He didn't last long, but he told me to fulfill my destiny. Now I don't know what he meant by that, but if my destiny means getting captured straight away by Imporkin Poe, and being her slave for the last 14 months, then I'm right on track. Hey, you, get back to work, you hear? Of course, Ali Star. Sorry. That's Sir Tur here. Of course, sorry, sir. Good to hear. I hate that idiot. He's Poe's second in command. If he can make it, I suppose anyone can. Anyway, back to digging. 14 hours later, and I finally hit something good. Right, so a key and a can. Rusty the bottom. Rusty the both of them. We have thousands of cans, don't need this, but this key. I think I'll keep this to myself. Hey, M. Pork and Poe would like to see you for what you have dug up today. I'm um, sure, let's go. Not before I search you. Come on, you're watching me for 14 months. Where could I get a weapon? Who knows what you found in the sand? Fine. I'll also search you and find the key. Hey, what's this then? Just something I was giving to important Poe. Sure you were. You're coming with me to Madame Poe, not her. <laughs> Look at her, she looks fucked. Alistair, why have you brought me this thing before me? They were found with this. Hmm, a key. And where did you find this scum? In the sand, I was going to give it to you. Do not lie to me. You know damn well that you were to place all collected items in the to the right of your dug up hole. You've no need to place them on your person. Alistair, leave us. I wish to speak to the scum by myself. But, Miss Poe, I cannot leave you with now. Yes, madam. Now you. We know, we've know we known each other for a while. I was always more powerful than you. Since I finally destroyed that porky and became who I really am, the great imported Poe, I've had control over you. But you have fulfilled your purpose for me. I've gained control. Goodbye. Porky, no. My name is Imporkin' Poe. Where am I? It feels so nice up here. I think we died went to heaven. It's a pretty interesting game. Weird story. Next. We're playing Slash Kill, which is a sequel of Murder. Previously on Murder. Sarah Taylor. This is my well, the place where I live. It is always dark around the parts of the forest. It's not so bad once you've been inside. To be honest, I've lived here my whole life, so I've gotten used to it. This room, in this room I killed my first victim, I've been watching this place for a long time now. A different person lives here now. It's been quiet for the past few years, no sign of the killer, also known as Sarah. No one knows where she lives, but I know I'm getting close. Wanted, dead or alive. Cough finally got back home for the holidays in the Alps. I should probably make some hot soup cough or this is gonna get worse. Kill the victim or leave the victim alive. We killed the victim. No, the victim was the detective. Right, enter the house. It's night and very cold. Two friends were walking towards an abandoned mansion. The moon was shining on the two friends, making them shiny and looking like ghosts. The trees covered the mansion that made it look like a castle in a deep forest. The trees swayed in the wind. They cracked and moaned and made the two friends scared. Then a cold breeze caught them and it felt like something went right through them. At first they were scared, but then they remembered that there are no chickens and will explore the mansion. Whoa, look at this place, Billy and Tommy. 
Our friends are Billy and Tommy, best friends since they can remember anything. They both grew up on a farm. Billy is 15 and Tommy is 16. Would you look at this place? It's amazing. I know, from the outside, it doesn't look like much, but on the inside, it's a whole new world. I would love to live here. It's ten times better than my house. Yeah, I know what you mean, but I wouldn't change my home for this place. It feels... Kill, kill, kill. I live it and I love it. Ain't nothing better than slashing. I'm in a forest, a dark forest. People run away from forests. Dark, dark, dark. And I gotta kill them. I gotta kill them, whoever I can find. Yep, yep, yep. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. He's not insane. Tommy? Dude, what? This place is giving me the creeps. Aren't you a little too old for that kind of... No, it's just this place has some bad aura. Oh, since when can you feel aura or whatever? Door slams and some squeaky sounds can be heard. I bet you they're gonna die. I like the drawing of this house and just the way the words are presented this time, not in green font, makes it much easier to read. Are they going to die? Who knows? I think they're gonna die. Next. We're playing Space Pizza. Looky here, this city has rid itself of everything pizza. It's up to you to get the people, get the people to love pizza again. WSD to control, space to launch off some cheesy goodness, and I know to control your role. Alright. So we're the last pizza delivery guy in space. Apparently our mayor prefers cheesy garlic bread as opposed to amazing pizza. We're gonna deliver it to these people up here. I'm not very good at controlling spaceships on like space based games. Yay! If you're running out of pizza, I've stashed them around the city. I'm sure you'll find it. All right. Kind of want to turn around so that we're the right way up. All right. I'm go this way. We're gonna skip them. We're gonna go to these guys. No cheesy, no pizza. -y. So maybe just like plain garlic bread, which is. You know, even worse. I like how they all disappear into pizza slices. This is a really fun story. Garlic bread is preferred. I'm way off in space. <laughs> it's a pretty cool story. Next. We're playing Mark. Right. Should be just 20 minutes away now. Billy, are you going to look out that window all day? Don't worry, we're almost there. I swear to God, this better be the right hostel this time. This map is useless. I feel like I've played this before. Maybe I played the sequel, or the one before it. This is the sequel, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully the facility is repaired back to its original state. In other news, animal attacks have been reported to be occurring more often, especially in the woodland areas. Researchers are having a further look into the cause. Here's Hugo Wright with an interview. It's probably just an updated version of the game. What the hell is that? Must be a power shortage. I'll see if other people have the same problem. What the hell is going on around here? There seems to be a power cut. Everyone's room is completely out of power. I can't believe this. I was in the middle of watching the news. How long will the electricity be out for? Who knows? Might last the whole night. The whole night? If flashlights in the car, we can grab those. That'd be great. If we get those, we should be fine. Meanwhile, we can go look for the manager and see if he's anywhere. We? What about the others in this place? They could do something. We're the only ones here. The manager told me at reception. Anyways, best I head off and get those flashlights. I'll meet you back here. Cool. See you in a bit. All right. There it is. So he's going out to his car. Oh my god. Paint. Oh, pant, pant, pant. Whoa, are you okay? What's wrong with you? The manager. He's dead. What? Whoa, hold on. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. I found him dead in my car. And there's blood and everything. Oh my god, we need to call someone ASAP. Um, that won't work. I tried using the phone earlier and there was no signal. We should probably reach the police station. Try... 
they can take care of this. Yeah, I can drive down there and get help. It could be dangerous out there. Yeah, all right, stay safe. Be careful out there. It'll be fine. Will your son be okay tonight? Yeah, he hopefully should be fine. I just hope that nothing happens to him when I don't have my eye on him. Jesus Christ, does anyone care about me here? I'm elderly and need assistance in this kind of situations. You can help overlook your son. What? Therefore, he can look over you, and you can look over him, and you can stop your groaning. Uh, yeah, it'd be for the best. No. Anyway, I better go, so I'll see you later when I come back with help. All right. I like the hand-drawn look of everything. Hmm, what's that? Your brakes don't work? Nope, there's, there's a thing in the road. Just run over it. Drive over the figure. That's what my dad said. He said if you risk yourself getting into a car accident, you shouldn't swerve off the road. Oh my god, I've run over a dog. Why are its eyes so red? It almost looks demonic. That's what's on its ear. Hope Billy's alright with everything that's happened tonight. It's been a rough night to say the least. He's got a weird mark. Anyways, time to go and check on him. Hey Billy, it's time to get going. I've got... Oh god, that looks weird. This is a weird game. Weird demonic people. Alright. Next. We're playing Nightthorn. Oh, they just kind of phased through the tree. That's right, we'll go this way. There's a camera watching us. Alright. Um, we're going this way, though. Who installed cameras in the forest? It's like another one right there. Okay. These must be like some sort of wireless cameras because I don't see wires anywhere. Plus it'd be annoying to string up wires in the forest. Alright. Nice sized open field. Oh wow. Okay. Decontamination. Operation Nightthorn. Alright. So there's like a couple of different trees and stuff. This looks spooky. When did you last check on your test subject? Well, I don't have one, so never. Um. Unspecific graph. Non specific? That's the word, probably. Wash your hands. You've worked hard, so take a break, but just make sure you stay awake. <laughs> this is weirdly creepy. Next! We're playing Go Fish O 2. Previously, on the exciting adventures of Go Fish O, Yogo was facing his greatest enemy yet, and just when all hope seemed lost, I have unlocked my most powerful and toy marketable of the forms. You have no chance now. You're you're just fucking with me. I am not. I shall prove it to you with this. Different superpower chain a different way. I realize there's more to life than a card game. See so different superpower. Now I'll show you my real power. I call upon the ancient power of the terrifying elder gods. For the sake of God. What what is this glowing? It's unlike any kind of glowing I've ever seen. And of course, I know a whole lot about this subject matter. I got a college degree in sudden human illumination. Ah, behold this atom. My power has changed even the cards in my hand. Hyper maximum pair. What? How on earth did you do that? Is, is this even allowed? That seems kind of illegal. Of course it is, you fool. Don't you know anything about this game? But please stop shouting. Curse says, I have no idea how to defeat this 12 year old. Is there nothing I can do? Uh oh. Huh? Who's there? Oh, don't you worry about a thing. You want to win, don't you? I mean, not really. This is just a friendly match. Then let me give you the power you need. What are you talking about? Ah! Oh, what's happening to him? I've never seen this before. Yeah, I'll make a fine monster of the week. Huh? 
Who is that? They must be from the incredibly vague legendary men the incredibly vague legend mentioned a hundred episodes ago. That's right, fools, but for now I'll leave you to deal with him. He should prove to be enough to defeat you. Gala no <laughs> What's wrong with him? Ah, I've never felt power like this before. With strength like this he could destroy the world. How? Hmm? You're just playing a card game. How could that affect the rest of the world? Don't be foolish. This card game is only is the only way to defeat him. Will our heroes be able to defeat this horde threat? Find out next time on the Amazing Adventures of Go Fish O. That was quite interesting. <laughs> I don't know, this game is so funny. Just the whole storyline to it and everything. This guy just staring at me at the end. Um, but yeah, it's actually the last game in the jam that I'm able to play. A couple of the games didn't work for me. So thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Bye!